as someone who understands the life you live must be. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Carmel. Um, please subscribe, like, stay, see what I got going on. Um, today, you guys, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, this is a video inspired by one of my sugar babies. And I feel like it's a really serious topic and something that needs to be addressed. So um, I'm just going to get into it. So right now... I mean, I guess since the dawn of time, we've lived in a culture where people aren't very nice. There's bullying, cyberbullying, um, maybe jokes that go too far, and it has created a culture of um, depression and suicide and a lot of really serious things. And I just feel like if I can do something that might help somebody, then, you know, why not do it? So, um, needless to say, or maybe needing to say, um, I was bullied a lot growing up. Um, I've always uh, been an overweight kid and I've always been the new kid um, at school, I went to a lot of different schools, and um, I've always been one of very few uh, black kids. So there were a lot of different things that I experienced um, in school and outside of school that were very hard. Um, it was really, really hard to deal with. Uh, I struggled a lot um, with depression and feeling bad about myself. And it was really, really hard. And um, it took a lot of tears. It took a lot of lonely nights. It took a lot of, you know, just going through a rough time. And, you know, it took my mom really having to give me a little bit of tough love for me to start to come out of that. Um one major thing that is good to know, not everybody is going to like you. It's, it's just impossible. There's over 7.5 billion people in this world, and not everybody is going to like you. You can be the most beautiful. You could be Halle Berry. You could be Beyonce. You could be, you know, just the most amazing looking model or the smartest, kindest person, and people will find something to not like about you. And that's just the nature of life. It's not fair, it's not right, but it, I mean, that's just how life is. Not everybody's gonna like you. So within yourself, you have to come to an acceptance of that's how it is. People, not everybody's gonna like you. Not everybody's gonna be your best friend. Not everybody's gonna see how amazing you are. And that is their problem. That's what they need to deal with. And you shouldn't feel less about yourself because somebody else doesn't like you. You know what I'm saying? So first come into grasp with that. Secondly, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, people will always have something to say. This goes along with the first. People will always have something to say, something negative to say, something to tear other people down. And it doesn't matter what you do, people will talk about you. It's how you handle what they say. If people tell you you're ugly and you're stupid and this, this, and that, don't accept that. Don't, don't take that to heart because somebody else thinks that you're not beautiful or you're not smart or you're not this or that don't accept what they say to be the truth because it's not a lot of times hurt people hurt people and what i mean by that is people have their own problems that they deal with they have their own insecurities they have their own doubts and terrible things that they're going through in their life and instead of dealing with that in a healthy way they have a tendency to take it out on other people and treat other people poorly so that they're not the only one that's miserable. 
again, doesn't make it right, but it's just kind of how things are. People, they don't want to be the only one in the dirt, so they'll drag other people down. And it's really sad. It's really sad because there's so many other better things that we can do to deal with the hurt and pain that's going on in our lives than to try to make somebody else feel bad about themselves. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I've never said anything mean to somebody. I've never said anything that has hurt somebody's feelings because I'm human and I grew up in a household where joking and, you know, kidding about, you know, weight or whatever was a thing. Um, so it's, I mean, part of my nature just to joke around, but I would never say anything to somebody with the intent to have them kill themselves or cut themselves or for them to really just feel lowered to the dirt. Never meaning to any to hurt anybody seriously it's always just a joke um and i think that it's important to let people know if you're joking and when you're just being mean um i mean they, sh they should know if you're just being mean but um sometimes people don't know they don't joke the way that you joke they don't know that you're joking and it's important to let them know if you are that type of person that jokes and kids to make it clear that this is not meant to truly hurt you. Um, it's sad when I see people who are children um, who are killing themselves because they're getting bullied at school, because the teachers are not intervening, because the teachers are not telling the parents in time. Um, kids are too afraid to talk to their parents or feel their parents won't believe them or won't do anything about it. And it's really 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 sad um life is precious we're all here for a reason we all have a purpose um it might take some of us a little bit longer to figure out what that purpose is but i assure you we are all here for a purpose we all have something to bring to this world and you should never take your own life from yourself you are beautiful you are important you do have something to give and it doesn't matter what other people say because you have to know within yourself that you are here for a reason and find your reason and flourish in it. Um, I, my own personal story, um, I've been called fat my entire life. I've been fat a good portion of my life since I was, you know, a young child. Um, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, Yes, I'm working on it. Yes, I'm, you know, trying to do my little keto thing or whatever and um, be a size that's healthier. And that's my journey. But the thing about it is, like I said, it's been happening my whole life. People always have something to say, something to poke and prod at. And it gets old. It's like, okay, you call me fat. Ooh, I'm fat. Yay. Wow. What else do you have to say? Oh, you're chunky, you're, you're shaped like a Michelin man, or, oh, you got more rolls in a bakery, like, okay. It's to the point where it's like, I've heard it all by now. I get it. I'm fat. Wow. So what? Like, it gets old. You know what I'm saying? And when you are being bullied and somebody's always making the same jokes about you, a good tip is to... Take that power away from them. When they, when they're, you know, saying stuff to you and they're trying to hurt your feelings and they're trying to embarrass you and stuff, they're trying to get a reaction. And if you don't react or if you are like, oh, wow, big deal, or, you know, you kind of like, wow, that's stupid. Like, is that supposed to hurt my feelings? It, it takes some of the power away. And they're going to get tired of it. They're going to get tired of making fun of you and teasing you about the same things and you just being like, do you want a sticker or are you done? Can I get to class now? Like, did you get your kicks and giggles for the day? Because I got to go. Like, that was real cute for a sec, but, you know, 
It wasn't funny. wasn't, I mean, I mean, that's the best you got, like, cool, but I got things to do. You know what I'm saying? And the best revenge on a bully is to level up. Getting good grades, making something of yourself, growing and prospering in life, and really becoming a highly successful person. When they get old and they look back and they're looking at you, you know, living the high life and they're still working at McDonald's, they're going to think, wow, man, I wish I had a life like them. You know what I'm saying? So success is the best revenge um, on a bully. And also, like I said, taking away their power. Don't, if they're, you know, making fun of you and stuff like that, don't be like, oh, don't say that. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Like crying and stuff like that because they're going to get a kick out of that. They're sick in the mind to sit there and watch somebody cry and to squirm and to feel like, oh, when you find joy in seeing a person like that, there's some, there's something sick in your mind. You need to get checked out. You need to have some type of evaluation. Because if when you find pleasure in people's pain, that's sadistic and they have a problem. They they might be a psychopath, sociopath, something. Because good people don't find pleasure in other people's pain. It's just a fact. So I just want you guys, if you have issues, follow me on Instagram. DM me on Instagram or leave something in the comments if you feel comfortable. And just say, hey, you know, this is what I'm dealing with. Do you have any advice for me? I'm more than happy to help you guys out, to give you guys tips and stuff like that. Because, like I said, I have been bullied. I was the black kid. People called me the N-word. Um, I was the new kid, so they just didn't like me off rip because they didn't know who I was. And, I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I'm a very nice person. I'm a very giving person. I'm a very loving person. And I feel like that I have a really good personality, but people off the rip because they don't know me or because I'm fat or because I'm black or whatever the case may be, they judge me and they don't give me the chance to show them who I really am. And that is their loss because I know within myself that I'm a great person and I know what I have to offer. And if somebody doesn't want to take the time to really get to know that and cherish that, then that's, that's their loss. You know what I'm saying? And so I need you guys to really adopt that if you're feeling like, oh, I might kill myself or oh, this or that. Know who you are. Know what makes you special. Everybody has something special about them. Everybody has something to give and everybody has a purpose in life. So even when you're feeling at your lowest point, know that you have something special. And... I know we all come from different backgrounds and some of you not might not be Christian um, and that's okay. Everybody has their own way of life. For me, my relationship with God really helps me because I need to pray sometimes. I need to pray all the time. I thank God. I try my best to thank God every morning for waking me up and sending me on my way because every day above ground is a blessed day and it's an opportunity to live your purpose and each day shows me that God is not done with me yet he still has something for me to do here and it's truly a blessing every every step you take every move you make is a blessing because there's so many people who can't walk who can't breathe on their own who didn't wake up this morning and my heart and prayers go out to those people and those families who are going through those struggles but with the blessings that I've been given, I'm going to choose to live and find my purpose. So I want you guys to, like I said, take that power from those bullies. Don't let them see you cry. Don't let them see you squirm. Act like what they're saying to you doesn't hurt your feelings. Even if deep down inside you feel like this, like you're really hurt and you're really embarrassed, you got to develop a good poker face to be like whatever like this just doesn't bother me and you know some I understand that it's easier said than done to be like oh that doesn't bother me because when somebody's in your face and they're 
really coming at you, it's hard not to flinch. It's hard not to, to act like what they're saying, you know, isn't hurting your feelings. But it's so important for the survive for your survival and your state of mind to act like this stuff does not hurt your feelings because when you start acting like it then it really starts to become the case that what they're saying really doesn't bother you anymore because you're just like okay you're saying the same thing oh whoop de do like who cares you know what i'm saying so that's a good thing um also um with cyberbullying Yes, kids can be cruel online. Block them. Um, don't get on those sites anymore. Um, you know, I feel like the younger generation is very super technology driven and social media driven and um, they're not like, so like my generation before, like, we went out, we had to play outside. We didn't have tablets and all this extraness that you guys have nowadays. We had to be outside. We were making mud pies. We were pretending. We, we had to use our imagination. Um, you know, outside was our playground. Outside was our social media. And I think kids really need to get back to that is going outside and being with nature, being with the neighborhood kids and you know, making up games and stuff like that and always being so wrapped up in social media. Um, and if people are bullying you online, don't be online. Because I've seen cases where people are killing themselves because they're being cyberbullied. And it's really sad and it's completely terrible. And But the thing about that is, is like, get off of line. Like, school... You have to go to school. So it's like you have to be around these kids that torment you. But you don't have to be online at all. And it sucks, you know, not to be online. But, you know, if that means that you're not being bullied, then I would rather go that route than just be online because everybody else is. Um, also, picking a sport or joining some type of martial arts, karate, taekwondo, kenpo, something like that. Um, just in case you do have to physically defend yourself, um, or just to keep busy, you know, to be around people who are, you know, doing something productive with their lives and meaningful and stuff like that is better than, you know, just hanging around kids and getting bullied because you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And so I feel like this is kind of a light overview of, you know, working against bullying but I just want to stress to you all again that you are loved that you're cared about that there are over 7.5 billion and billion people in this world and not everybody's going to like you but that also means there's over 7.5 billion people who have the potential to be your friend who have the potential to stick with you so that you don't have to fight this battle alone and don't have to feel unwanted there's so many so much potential to make friends and so i'm just plead to you guys don't give up you know don't be sad don't be depressed talk to somebody i know that you might not want to talk to your parents or talk to your teachers um but please make an effort to if you're just feeling way too low like you're not you don't have the strength re please reach out to somebody um to help you um and if one person you ask and they don't help Ask somebody else and ask somebody else and ask somebody else and just keep asking people to help you until you get the help that you need because you are worth it um, and you are worthy to be loved and to be cherished and to have friends and to find someone to love you and all of the above. And I just don't want to see any more of my sugar babies pass. Um, and so... I just beg you guys, like I said, even reach out to me if you need to. And, you know, I can give you some tips, some more tips on how to handle things. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, you guys, stay sweet, stay safe, stay blessed. Um, like this video, comment down below, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, you guys, peace.